Father Thames may always be hanging around the Houses of Parliament, but he does a lot of useful work as well. On his broad shoulders, for instance, he carries as much as 37 million tons of goods every year, and that isn't so bad for an olden. Under Tower Bridge he goes, past the Tower of London, and hobnobs with the factories in the lower reaches. Introduce him to a ship and he'll carry her, the rascal. And at the docks, they'd be absolutely lost without him. But actually, the River Thames from Teddington, or Tide End Town to the sea, isn't a river at all, but a tidal watercourse with high tides twice daily. Every low tide exposes unsightly and insanitary mud flats, worse in summer than in winter. And the constant scour of the tides plays havoc with the banks. A little beyond Tower Bridge and 30 miles from Teddington is Woolwich Ferry. It's the only river crossing between Tower Bridge and Tilbury. And here's Mr. J.H.O. Bungie, an engineer with a big idea. He wants to erect a four and a half million pound dam to stop the tides. The river at Woolwich is 1,500 feet across and the dam would be divided into three parts. The center consisting of six locks to take vessels of varying size and on each side a causeway furnished with sluice gates. Along the top, there'd be a roadway and a railroad. The model barrage is even more illuminating. You'll observe the roadway over the sluices and how brisk is the traffic. The bascules can be opened for the larger vessels and there are lift bridges for speeding up things still further. It's claimed that the new barrage would do away with the present long traffic weights. If the Thames Barrage Association has its way, the old ferry boat will be no more. What of the future? Will the proposed barrage ever become an accomplished fact? If it does, its sponsors believe that for the first time in the history of London, the old river will not only be tideless, but tidy, odourless and clean. <laughs>